cringe of the week. Well, that could have been in cringe of the week too. It's, yeah, because cringe of the week is going to be kind of similar. Our first clip from cringe of the week is uh, the Disney employee ruins the proposal. Yeah, and so this one went viral, um, but we had to talk about it because of our distaste for. Di we had to talk about it because of our distaste for Disney, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, just the extreme nature of this. This little guy, mm -hmm. this little guy does a little trot, runs in, snatches the ring. Mm -hmm. Little rat. You can't touch my shit. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. Like, isn't snatching something from someone's hand kind of like not acceptable? It's an accelerating event. It, yeah, it's not like you can just like get it like yoink the ring thing. It's like you kind of touch them, you do everything. Yeah. It's almost like a physical thing, and you took advantage of me because I was literally proposing. Right? And it's like the people are proposing here. The guy's proposing here. The castle's in the background. Yeah. Wouldn't you kind of stand off to the side out of their shot like this, and then when they're done, go, hey, guys, I, I, you got to come over here. Congratulations. You got to come over here. Yeah. But no, he thinks he's oppressed. He, as a gay guy. Is the, this guy gay for yeah, sure? Yeah, this mean, guy's gay. He definitely run, ran a little uh, light in so the timberland. So this guy, as a gay guy, thinks these are the oppressors. I, LGBT man, am in the oppressed community. I'm not letting this go down. I have power now. I'm going to flex my power. And I'm, it's like a microcosm of like the bigger thing. So like, he sees this as an opportunity to flex whatever power he has to make the straight people's lives a little bit worse because he thinks he's oppressed. If this was two gay guys, he would be... I don't even want to say it. It's disgusting. He'd be in with it. He'd, <laughs> he'd be in there be, with it. He'd be doing something <laughs> gross I, I, and I'm like not... trying to buy, po trying to sell him poppers probably. <laughs> well, I didn't know you were going to take that angle. The, I, I didn't assume this guy was gay or not, but I just think he was a little rat employee, you know? Um, and the way you do it, like you can't put the cat back in the bag once you see your fiance down on one knee like this. It's like, what are you going to get a new reaction from below the platform with the worst view? And then so have a true. magical moment. So they, the guy ruined it. And he's doing this little thing where he's like smiling and pointing. As he's if like, he's right. Yeah. He's like, Sam, please. Um, and I saw some Disney employees commenting on this and saying like one of the things, even when you tell people no, even when you tell people their luggage is lost, you have to be smiling. And it's like <laughs> a weird, creepy, like kind of Chick-fil-A type rule where they say my pleasure instead mm -hmm. of this. Um, but you have to smile all the time. So this guy's just like a little creep who clearly ruined the moment smiling and just doing a guide thing. Exactly. He's flexing his power. He's looking at things from a victim perspective. So he sees that he's a victim because he's not straight. These straight people are trying to get engaged. And he just said, I need to go do something in order to promote equity. This <laughs> I don't know if <laughs> your take is right. I, like, I don't even know if this guy's gay. <sighs> Let me watch it again because it's a, it's a little gay run for sure. He has the ears on. Oh, yeah, but that's his job. That Works at run, Disney. And he grabs it. Imagine grabbing it. I would think someone's just stealing the ring and, like, ro I would, I would I'd swing. I would grab him. And then I would pick him up with one hand and I would go, give him my ring back. Yes, that's great. But over here, it's going to be even better. It's Lower. Like you're lying to my face. The post ruined on one knee. It's going to be better over here. I think she knows it's coming. I think Disney owes that couple something. Disney owes that couple something for sure. That guy should be fired. Uh, if, if you can't get on uh, like that platform, if you shouldn't be on that platform, then how'd they get there? The, and how long does the, it take? The, the run up and stop should have happened way before the uh, down on one knee moment. Exactly. How long does it take to do this whole thing? You get on one knee, will you marry me? Yes. You hug, you turn, you face the camera. She yep. goes like this and you're back in line or back behind the rope or whatever. Nope. Not on Disney's watch. Not on this guy's watch because gay people couldn't get married until recently. All right. I don't know if that's the right thing. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Young Gravy concert, someone I've never heard of. Uh, look at this video. Young Gravy's on stage. And he's giving out Slim Jim bites to sluts. He gives it to that first girl, fine. And then the second girl, who has a boyfriend. Uh, she waits and winks she waits like lets it linger and, and then, then winks. winks eye contact and then the loser boyfriend like super insecure feeling like a loser starts making out with her immediately leans in for a kiss to yeah. like claim his pro you know this is my girlfriend mm. he already lost her buddy he already lost her when she let it all go for a bit slim jim yeah 
a, a second bite of the Slim Jim. You're the second girl. And then she did like a whole thing. Ugh. Yeah, which is completely humiliating for this guy. Ding, ding, ding. It's over. Yeah. As they would say in a in a boxing match. Mm-hmm. Um, Just for this girl not to get invited backstage too, or like whatever. Yeah. You know, it's not like it's like you had that moment. You ruined the relationship. There's a two hour car ride home. This is in upstate New York. I'm yeah. making it up. Young but, Gravy, <laughs> Young Gravy invited the other girl on stage yeah. or whoever. There's already people back there. <laughs> exactly. And so it's like you did it all for this moment and the weird camera angle. And then the guy you actually who probably maybe paid for you and brought you there and mm-hmm. all that. Uh, so he quickly he quickly learned what kind of girl he has. A girl for the streets. Mm-hmm. What what could she have done when he offers a Slim Jim? You can just reject it and say, oh, no, I'm not going <laughs> to. Could you imagine I'm not going to get fed a Slim Jim like that, and f- especially in front of people, at my, my boyfriend. Yep. Uh, number two, you'd never be at a Young Gravy concert, let alone in the front row mm. at a Young Gravy concert. Yeah. Those are some Young Gravy fanatics, apparently. Yeah, exactly. If you had a nice girlfriend, you wouldn't be there. And if you were there, she'd go, what are we doing at this Young Gravy concert all the way up at the front? Let's get out of here. Let's go to dinner and go home. And then you'd have a nice girl. Smart. But now you know. So she's for the streets. Break up with her. If you're the guy in the video, we'll, we'll, send, we'll send you send a you base, a base plug. <laughs> But you're not based. You're not yeah. based. So yeah, we're not going to send. You have to send us something. If you're the guy in the video, <laughs> uh, it's very embarrassing for you. Send, give us your, give us, send us a DM and we'll give you our address and you can send us something. Yeah. Probably you, a mug, something small under $20. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're not getting a base mug from us. That is for sure. <laughs> Moving on, um, bottle poured on head by Rick Ross. Yeah, you want to give the context here? Yeah, this is some more uh, bad etiquette, bad nightlife etiquette. Uh, Rick Ross is in a club spending a lot of money, and people came over to his table, a bunch of girls and some guy, and then he just starts pouring champagne on this guy's head, and he does it. I don't know if he thinks it's cool. Oh, he thinks it's cool. He's like, yeah. <laughs> and then look at the girls' faces. Like, they're looking at him. They're just like, you're pathetic. One of the girls looks at her friends like, one of the girls wearing like a bra and like underwear, and she's like, "You're a loser." Well, I think a girl like that who's wearing the bra and the underwear has probably had some champagne poured on her experience and realized it's not worth it. Well, that's why she wore the bathing suit to the bar. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> in case it happens again, I actually used to do like schizo drawings in 2016, mm-hmm. and this exact moment I have actually drawn before and commented on, where it's like for 30 seconds you think it's cool getting sprayed by the bottle. But then when it's over, you're all wet in the club and the guy who sprays just drinking it with his friends and like you were like a prop. <laughs> yeah. You got like used and dismissed and you're all wet in the club now. Have fun Ubering home. Yeah. The taxi comes up. They they look you up and down. They go, not today. <laughs> not today, my $200 friend. $200 cleaning Too fee. wet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Here, take some vodka cranberries. <laughs> you're all sticky now. Your night's ruined. And, and that's the other thing. It's like. This guy was like, oh, this is my moment. I look so cool. It's like, no, Rick Ross looks cool. He's pouring champagne that's expensive as hell wherever he wants on you. Yeah, he's like a Chad guy who has minion guys below him that are. It's like when <laughs> it's like when the guy died in the plane and Bane was like, when do you need one for the wreckage, brother? And the yeah. guy's like, all right, <laughs> exactly. I'll do it. And he's the wreckage to make Rick Ross look cool. <laughs> exactly. It's like it, it's like the equivalent of like, bro, I saw Kanye last night. He sneezed and some of it went in my mouth. <laughs> it's like, ah, yeah. You got it. Wow. Oh, you're, it's like you're Kanye. You're like right near Kanye then. Yo, Jay-Z. He ashed on my sweater. Yeah. <laughs> His blood. Exactly. So it's sloppy work. And that's also another reason. This, these nightlife scenes, there's not there's nothing there. There's no you're not gonna meet anyone nice. Overpriced, sucks your soul. Uh a lot of empty people looking for validation somehow. Yeah. Women, women who dress, you know, who don't have the best morals, loose morals, I'd mm-hmm. say. Looking just to look good and oh, stuff. Like How would you meet your wife? Oh well, she was getting fed by Young Gravy and <laughs> Rick Ross was there. He squirted her with champagne. Yeah, and uh, and then she saw me. Yeah, exactly. From across the room. So there's no upside to live that way. And then like if you're still in the mindset of like trying to live that way, like you're far from where you need to be mentally. Is kind of how I see it. Yeah. So moving you, on. You go to you go to a nightclub or uh, a bar like this, um, and you get table service when your job pays for the whole thing mm-hmm. and you have like a crazy budget, you need to entertain the guys from Morgan Stanley. Exactly. Like that's it. That's who this is for. This isn't for like five buddies to get together and be like, let's get a table. It's only 2,500. Yeah. I used to do that for uh, work when I lived in New York. Yeah. I worked for Citigroup. I had like a wall street job and there was one time the bill was $50,000 and they paid it. 
It wasn't. I didn't. I didn't ring it up. But yeah, fifty grand. So you could have paid for get to go to college for a year. Yeah, you could have gone and done some major philanthropy. <laughs> you could have bought some houses instead. Like Mike and Jim had a great night. Yeah, nothing to show. It, it for was it. so funny. It was the, the the tab was like thirty bottles of Don Perignon, like twenty bottles of Don Julio, like eighteen dollars for chicken tenders, <laughs> <laughs> like two Red Bulls, yeah. nine dollars. Yep. Um, and the tip was like ten grand. Um, brutal. Uh, next clip. The boomers, boomers, you guys are doing weird stuff on Instagram. I get like these recommended videos to me, and I guess because I like them so much and, and I interact with them so much. You send them around to your friends. I send them around and it's like now I'm getting more of them. Uh, but the boomers, I don't know what they're trying to do, look tough or what, but this is what they're up to on Instagram a lot of times. Let's get one thing very clear. I don't avoid conflict because I'm scared of you. I avoid conflict because I'm scared of myself. My temper can go from zero to death row really quick. It's like, what are you, what are you people doing? Who are you hoping sees this? You're an old man. Yeah, I mean, you should probably get your temper under control. That's not a good thing at age 50. Yeah, you, your temper flips like that and you go to 0, 100 and you're crazy. And it's like, this is probably why you're divorced. <laughs> and, you're, and you're posting these videos hoping like a girl sees it and thinks you're tough in your car. Yeah. Can you imagine a girl being like, oh, what's 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 he up to? Oh, my God. <laughs> He's so scary and tough. Exactly. I should probably go out with him. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know what they're hoping happens from this type of content. But I've been getting this weird content. I also get these like weird Pakistani videos. Those are good. Where it's like all these like Pakistani like teenagers and they're going like violence, violence, violence. I avoid it. I don't like it. But violence likes me. Violence, violence, violence. I don't like it. I avoid. But violence likes me. I can't avoid. It's like you've never been in a fight. You've never done anything violent. Like, who are you trying to tell this to? Just text them. Yeah. And say, hey, I, I can, you know, I can handle my own in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Just text the girl you like. Nope, they can't do that. They have to send the message out and embarrass themselves to everybody else in hopes that the one girl likes it. At least we know they're tough. At least that that's for sure. That's I wouldn't fight any of these guys. <laughs> Their tempers are out of control. They go from zero to what? To what? Yeah, to death row <laughs> real quick. <laughs> really quick. I would never want to run into these guys. 